How's it? Engus. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii channel. Where there's different other uh, different other programs you can watch with Shakespeare on Sunday, working on the comedy airs. Uh, eventually get around the spook 101. Did kind of like a little bit of what's what background research for the paranormal. I haven't done investigation. Like for real. And probably tell how much stuff is bogus. And this crypto corner, which it's popular. But this one today is newspaper. Where we look at the newspaper and stuff inside. <laughs> yes, this is supposed to be comedy kind of cynical satire, spoofing type stuff. In case I'm not funny and that didn't come across. Anyways, um, what do we got today? Today is uh, mm, January 15th. Let's just start off with headlines. Today, the headline is... Can you see that? Oh, I gotta get in front of this thing. Oh, no, I'm gonna do this now. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Captain Nemo and his nuclear powered his underwater ship. Uh, this is the headline. So... Thank you for your patience. I hope those faces are funny. Funny faces. But actually, you know, it's hard to get an alert. What expression face do you put with the headlines? Come on, really, seriously, what? State vaccine supply a concern. What does that mean? You're gonna run out? Oh, crap. Hey, we got the vaccine! Fuck it. Ran out of shots, go home. It must be like standing in line. I heard it takes 45 minutes to fill out all the forms. Ooh. What are today's numbers? Today's numbers. New cases, 122. Daily average, 137. Uh, state overall, 179. Um, that's bogus. This is like tier one stuff. We should be like max amount of, but they're not gonna wanna do that. They don't wanna upset people in a way we don't want to do anything that might you know make you not want to vote for us <laughs> it's kind of like what's going on i think there's a couple of hard hitters lieutenant governor josh green is actually the mayor called what i was doing he was pounding some you gotta do this yeah i just have to you know the can carry on you uh and the big news is all the capitals are going to be stormed, says the cuckoo um, insurgent chatter, they call it, on the internet. <gasps> you are going to get you. Um, in my estimation, uh, don't go to the capitol building that day. I don't know. <laughs> Let the police and the whoever shows up cuckoo style and <laughs> be handling that. The big capital in the Washington DC is gonna be like I said a citadel it's gonna be Fort Knox of security it's night man uh, they're probably protesting with the flags and oh and stupid business that's why it's got good pizza eh good pizza but hey this is no fun eh no fun no fun when I do that. I don't like that. Do you like that? It, it, it bagged on me. What the heck? Okay. Three, two, one. There we go. Cushu Red Baron. Actually, I think it's, um, you know. Unnerving when there's people right outside the room. Anyway, it's okay. 
So heightened security with capital. Wow. Okay. <laughs> And back in the day, I glanced at this one. This one's pretty cool. Like, oh my god. You see that? Queen Elizabeth. That's the second, not the first. The first was like a long time ago. The Queen Elizabeth the first, like Shakespeare time. Queen Elizabeth, right there, is dancing with Duke of Oh my gosh. The Duke and the Queen. <laughs> 1966. Right after that, I was in Hawaii going to first grade. Like, so what? <laughs> I'd be a nice concern. Okay, they're concerned about violence, of course, because they're getting all the interceptive of chatter about such stuff. What else is going on? Speed raid. Uh, uh. Meanwhile, on Mars, planet <laughs> Terra planet farming. The Mars lander mission drilled into the planet fails and is stopped. NASA declared Mars digger dead. It failed to burrow deep into the red planet to take its temperature. It was trying to take its temperature and it died. Sorry, digger. I don't know, that's a cool name for him. Cool name for it. Digger. 20. 2020 was declared the hottest year on record. It's the hottest. Uh, okay. Gonna see how hot it was. Oh, how hot was it? And this is probably also big news. 1.9. That's like two trillion dollars. Two trillion dollars. <laughs> Get ready for your paycheck. This is in there. I need to pay off. Daddy needs to pay off the debt. And the debt was incurred by being ripped off in cryptocurrency. So only go good cryptocurrency, like, you know, a dual coin is good. But don't trust the ones that are like, hey, I make you Bitcoin, make go, go up real fast. Don't trust people and give them your Bitcoin. You never get it back. Okay. Uh, um, big Q. Would you favor raising a wise tax rate on individuals in higher income earning brackets? See <laughs> rich. 28%. No, bad idea. 20%. Depends on threshold, but open to it. <laughs> Depends if I'm included. 52%. Yes. Higher taxes on wealthier should help state. <laughs> we know who's got money and who goes. That's a, I'm, 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 I'm quite sure of it. It's where it all begins. Who gets taxed how much? I used to always see that. <clears throat> it's my taxpayer money. Richard Nixon beat John Kennedy in first count of Hawaii ballots in 1960. In Hawaii, we, we voted for Nixon. <laughs> We ain't exactly enlightened in this realm. Okay. And it's an open. Okay, we're trying to make this uh, all this rustling is going right on that thing. Political cartoon. Why are Democrats so divisive? As he walked around the metal detector, stopped the steal. She's like impeach with her mask on. He doesn't have a mask. <laughs> it, you know the mask wearing bot got politicized. Yeah, that's for sure. But walking around the metal detector thing, that's part of the um, was it pre-planned and did they have help from behind the scenes? As in people working in the Capitol, including police. Were they helping them out? Allegedly. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking, yeah. But that's just my opinion. Uh, Alright. Who cares? <laughs> Let's do a little um, letters to the editor. See what's going on. 
Oh, Colin. Hmm. Let's see beyond the labels to understand one another. Our country has a polarization problem. One root cause is that people adhere to the practice of labeling someone and then love or hate that label. The founder of Proud Boys Hawaii, a far right extremist group, ran for the State House District 22 seat in 2020 and received nearly 30% of the vote. Did those in Waikiki and Almoana who voted for him do so because they simply believed in his extremist views? Or simply because he was labeled a Republican? There are two pathways towards change. The path of dignity and the path of tragedy. If we are to create a new world in which dignity of each person is continuously respected, then the practice of labeling one another must be replaced with understanding one another. That concept requires comprehensive gathering of information, interpretation, discernment, assessment, in fear inference, appreciation, and valuation. Carlino Giampolo Kaka'ako! <laughs> uh, no thanks for the letter. I don't like it though, because you're from Kaka'ako. <laughs> no, yes, labeling is a big problem. You know why I think? is because people in general like to simplify things. They don't like to do discernment, interpretation, assessment, infer inference, discernment. <laughs> really. It looks like the easy way out. Them. You're one of them. And it goes from there. Good luck with me. <laughs> Good sentiment. Next. Uh, leaders must see. Do I really want? No. Uh, uh, I won't do that. Eh, no. Skip that. They gotta say the election was fair and square. <laughs> they should, but they ain't. If you notice their behavior. Bing. Over. Big difference between BLM, Trump protests. I see on TV and read on the internet how some Donald Trump supporters are comparing the Black Lives Matter demonstrations to what happened at the nation's capital. One shouldn't compare the burning and looting that expressed the pent-up rage against decades of everyday discrimination and injustices against generations of blacks to the attack on and attempted intimidation of the people who craft our quote, government of laws and not of men. Hopefully there are more Republicans who care about this distinction than those who don't. Leslie Ozawa Kaimuki. Leslie, thanks for your letter. I got one word for you. Hopefully <laughs> I got two words for you. Republicans. Not to use a label. Uh, Trump could have won with COVID response. Ten months ago, when we became aware of the onslaught of COVID-19, I became convinced of and told everyone I knew that this epidemic provided President Donald Trump with a simple and certain opportunity for a Guaranteed landslide re election victory in November. <gasps> really? All he had to do was two things. First, make a dramatic, inspirational speech to the country as President Franklin D. Roosevelt 
did after Pearl Harbor. And Prime Minister Winston Churchill did when Britain was threatened by the Blitz. He would have emphasized our strength and resilience and our pride in overcoming extreme hardship. Second, and even more important, he would, in his television speech, put on a mask and ask everyone to wear a mask. And in his, in his intimidable way, make it the cool and in thing to do. Virtually every American would have emulated him and then taken pride in wearing a mask. We would have had been a world leader in fighting the virus instead of having the worst record and would have saved hundreds of thousands of lives. Instead, he ridiculed the mask and guaranteed his election defeat by a horrible COVID-19 response. Russell T. Bjork, Koloa Kauai. Thanks, Russell, with a L, S L. <clears throat> you must, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not just assuming that you're like a Trumpy guy wanting Trump to do. I'm assuming that you're thinking, if I was president, what would I do? <laughs> well, anyways, for content, mm, yeah, but you're missing a, a larger picture. Just wearing masks wouldn't have done it. There was all kinds of things where he disrupted the supply chain. Uh, ventilators, remember that one? And production of the tests, and all kinds of stuff. Um, the spread of the virus was well out of control, but could have been controlled early February, even because January he had news that it was a deadly SOB. And then he went to tell the public in his fireside chat, much like FDR and, and Winston Churchill. We shall fight on the seas and the oceans. <laughs> we will never surrender. Well, he surrendered. He told the public that it was not much more than a flu. <laughs> it's kind of like a flu. Wouldn't worry about it. Just keep going to work and making mayor a great game. That's what he was worried about. See, even after everyone's getting contaminated, we want to make everyone go back to work with your freedoms. That's why I'm not wearing a mask. Freedom. So his overall picture was skewed, if you know what I mean. Make that's the problem for those medical issues. We could read that. Oh, nah, enough of this. Because. I gave a little bit of a little bit of a <laughs> Trumpy, where are you? <laughs> he's 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 in the he's in the oval or uh, he's not he's in the White House downstairs. I heard he was like just getting PO'd and angry and pity and angry <laughs> people are going, ooh. We better pull the plug on what he can and can't do before he does tries to do something. Um, who gets the A award? I don't know. I, I, listen, who gets the virtual? I would say labels. Carlino. <laughs> T-Rex toenail award. But you don't really get it. No one gets the T-Rex. But you get the wonderful effervescent feeling of it bubbling up inside. That, oh boy. Recognition on the Mongoose Max Hawaii news. <clears throat> Anyways. Alright, stay safe. Um, I would. I don't know why you wouldn't. But I would say, hang loose. Don't like, I like look at the stuff. Eh? Ah, you lose that. I wouldn't be rushing no capitals myself. <laughs> I 
Breaking news! <laughs> See, they watch it on TV. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, till next time. Hang loose and aloha.